I think it's clear based upon the outcome of the ECOG Akron E1910 study that there is a clear benefit for patients receiving blinitumumab as part of their frontline therapy in acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Um, there are clearly some things that need to be resolved around this in, in terms of what is the appropriate regimen to combine this with. This may be particularly an issue in older adults, but also we need further data in adolescents and young adults and of course children. Um, and that data, of course, isn't covered within the ecog Akron study. I think that we still need to establish what the optimal combination is for older adults. It is notable that during this Congress, it was presented uh, some updates on ecog Akron, and it showed that um, for adults aged over 55, there wasn't a clear benefit to blinitumumab, which really isn't explicable within this MID negative cohort. Um, and that may re relate to what the regimen that was utilised within this relatively older group of patients. And so I still think there is a lot to learn, but I think that it's clear that uh, blinitumumab will form part of how we treat pH negative BALL moving forward. Um, it's just a matter of working out what the appropriate backbone that we're going to use is going to be.